Hello and welcome to the Expert Talk on TSN. Today we're talking to Matthias Gärtner, who's in charge of somatic product management and industrial communication at Siemens AG. Today he's our TSN expert. Time-sensitive networking is becoming a driver for Profinet and OPC UA, but what's it actually about? TSN is being standardized by the IEEE 802.1 standardization task group with the participation of many international companies. Of course, Siemens has also been taking part for many, many years and is actively contributing to the standardization. What's important to know is that TSN isn't one standard, but rather a whole series of different standards all involving the industrial Ethernet. It's a sort of basic technology that can utilize different communication protocols that are supported by it. And what does that mean exactly? What's the benefit of Ethernet based on TSN compared with today's Ethernet? The individual standards I just mentioned are mainly concerned with quality of service for Ethernet-based communication. Ultimately, it's all about real-time capability. The different standards address topics like time synchronization, low latency time, small jitter, bandwidth protection via resource allocation in the switches, and seamless redundancy, which is also very important for industrial automation. Another important point is that TSN allows different applications and protocols to share one and the same network infrastructure, thanks to network convergence. That's a major benefit of the new TSN standards. And where exactly is TSN used? IEEE 802.1 is aimed at various markets. TSN originated in the audio-video field. TSN also used to be called AVB, audio-video bridging. Now other markets have also become engaged, for example in-car, which is in-car networking, but is now also networking in industrial automation. That's what we're concerned with today. Of course, the real-time requirement has been around since day one, but now there's also an opportunity to communicate in a standardized way. Siemens is going to use TSN with different protocols, with OPC UA and Profinet. We've noticed that there's a growing demand for real-time capability in machine-to-machine -machine communication, meaning for the networking of machines. That's why we're going to combine OPC UA with TSN. OPC UA isn't currently real-time capable, but TSN can make it real-time capable. And that's where we will implement real-time machine-to-machine communication. But also at the field level, we've been promoting our Profinet standard for many years. And now, we'll also use the basic TSN technology to make Profinet real-time capable in a standardized way. In addition to Profinet, with TSN, we're also about to become involved in the OPC Foundation to standardize OPC UA with TSN for use on the field level. And when exactly is TSN being used at Siemens? It's important to know that TSN standardization hasn't yet been completed. Although individual standards are nearly finished, or in some cases completely finished, other standards are still incomplete. In particular, the area of network configuration and stream establishment in the network is still very open and is being hotly debated on the market, so that will still take some time. You also have to consider that there's no point in manufacturers launching products on the market now, because an entire ecosystem has to be created. Because, when all is said and done, customers want to combine products from different manufacturers. This means that products have to be created. Semiconductor groups have to launch the corresponding TSN-capable semiconductor components, and a certification system has to be established. That's a lot of tasks that still lie ahead of us, so it's sure to take several more years. Nevertheless, at Siemens, we've started going all out to develop TSN-capable products. Anyone who was at the Hannover Messe 2018 in April was able to see our robot model, which impressively demonstrated how two somatic controllers could communicate with one another in real time via communications cards based on OPC, UA, PubSub and TSN. A lot of progress has already been made in terms of OPC UA with TSN. But what about Profinet? Will TSN replace Profinet? Absolutely not. As I said before, TSN is a basic technology and we're going to use this basic technology with Profinet. In the PI, the Profinet Standardization Committee, we are working at full speed on a Profinet TSN specification and it won't take long. The first draft will be released soon and it will provide a specification for Profinet based on TSN technology. To summarize, what are the benefits of Profinet with TSN? 
One of the essential benefits of Profinet and TSN is the fact that the IEEE has standardized TSN technology in such a way that in the future, the large semiconductor groups will have permanently integrated TSN into their semiconductor components, which will create a wide variety of available components that device manufacturers can then use to implement a Profinet interface. This naturally results in a variety of devices which benefits end customers. A second major benefit is robustness. As part of Industry 4.0, a lot of data is being created that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with real-time but still needs to be transferred. It's important that TSN communication be robust enough for real-time critical data. The TSN stream mechanism guarantees that real-time data that's important for automation is protected from best effort or TCP IP based data. And one last benefit, the large volumes of data associated with Industry 4.0 mean that bandwidth is an extremely important issue. We've decided to set Profinet and TSN to 1 gigabit per second. In other words, we're increasing the bandwidth tenfold in order to implement the data throughput necessary for future applications associated with digitalization and Industry 4.0. Thank you, Matthias, for your insight into TSN technology. Profinet and OPCUA based on TSN are the future. Stay tuned and set your own course for the digital enterprise. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.